poor baby. I feel so sorry for you that you forgot your headphone. Stop being a girly man and work out. I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger, also known as Schnitzel. I am Linda Hamilton. And I'm here to terminate your gym excuses. They say hasta la vista to them. Well, get to the chopper! One of the first questions is that I don't have enough time, which of course is the biggest bullshit I've ever heard. <laughs> because we have 24 hours a day. And you don't have time for working out. You're not having time for taking care of your body. Are you out of your mind? I mean, you sleep six hours a day. They have 18 hours left. You work 10 hours, so you still have eight hours left. So what happened? You don't have time? Manage your time better, okay? Otherwise I get pissed off. I'm gonna come to your house and terminate you. The gym is too busy. Well then go at five in the morning, your forehead. Okay? <laughs> have you ever seen the gym at five in the morning? There's almost no one there. So just get up early and go to the gym early. You don't need a gym membership. Get out there and run, do squats. You don't need a gym. You just need to be motivated. Right, Arnold? That's my girl. Exactly. Next excuse. I don't know where to start. Well, easy. <laughs> start running a little bit. Start doing some push-ups, some sit-ups, some dips between chairs. Buy Arnold's Encyclopedia on Modern Bodybuilding. No. It's available. If the gym is too far from your house, then open up a gym closer to your house. <laughs> you open it up. Remember, we don't sit in front of the television or we don't sit around in our living room and just complain. We do something about it. That's what actions is all about. And remember, there is no fate but what you make for yourself. I've heard that line before. Have you? Yeah. I thought I just made that up. I'm too embarrassed and self-conscious to work out. Are you kidding me? Because you're embarrassed, you should be working out. <laughs> if you work out, you won't be embarrassed. <laughs> exactly. Everyone is in the gym bigger and fitter and stronger than me is another one of those excuses. Come on now. You must be running out of excuses eventually. <laughs> because this is, this is crazy. First of all, who says when you're bigger that that means better? Sometimes you can be lean and you can be in fantastic shape. So forget the bigger anyway. But in any case, you go to the gym just like you go to the doctor because he won't help. You don't go to the doctor and say, everyone there is sicker than me. So I'm not going to go to the doctor. Very I good mean, one. Stupid. You've forgotten your headphones so you can't work out? Poor baby. <laughs> I feel so sorry for you that you forgot your headphone. Stop being a girly man and work out. How many more excuses can there be, really? But I have to say that when you lack motivation, it's usually because you don't have a goal. I always was happy in the gym. I was happy in the gym, and everyone was always wondering, why is Arnold happy in the gym? I said, because I knew that every rep that I was doing was getting closer to my goal of winning the Mr. Universe contest. Now, maybe that's not your goal. Maybe your goal is just to get fit, but at least you have a goal. So every rep I did, every set I did, every pound that I lifted, every chin up I did, every sit up I did, I was smiling because I was getting one step closer to my goal of winning the Mr. Universe. And therefore, it made it joyful to exercise because I had a goal. So remember that, okay? And then when you achieve your goal, give me some credit, all right? <laughs>